As a photographer, I'd learned a lot about positive and negative images, but there was something quite different about the images I saw on this cloth. I couldn't then put my finger on it. However, it had fired my curiosity and when the answer eventually came, it would be nothing less than sensational. This film is about one of the most mysterious artefacts you are ever likely to encounter. If it is authentic, then we know it from the Bible as the cloth which wrapped Jesus' body in the tomb. There must have been something pretty special about it, because according to the eyewitness account in John's Gospel, it was only when the first disciple to see inside the tomb saw it lying there, that he finally came to believe. What could it have been about that particular sight that was so convincing? David Rolfe was able to continue his own investigation when he was given permission in 2009 to film the shroud itself for the first time in high definition. I can tell you, it's very difficult to do justice to the way it strikes the naked eye. I've graded this as accurately as I can, but cannot completely capture the delicacy of the image. When we first walked into the room, it took a while just to focus on it. And track. The Bible tells us that it was a rich man, Joseph of Arimathea, who bought the cloth. Multiple centuries on, it, it still has a fine sheen to it. We're approaching the 2000th anniversary of the crucifixion and what Christians believe to be the defining and, frankly, mind-blowing event of their faith, the resurrection of Jesus. Would it not be entirely consistent with the sort of down-to-earth nature of his two core messages that something as simple as a linen cloth might be a time capsule bearing enough data, to use a modern term, for us to witness that miracle for ourselves. That is the question before us, because we do now have the technology to read that data. For example, a simple flick of the switch reveals the 3D encoding over the whole body. markings on this image are so clear and so medically accurate that the pathological facts which they reflect concerning the suffering and death of the man depicted here are, in my opinion, beyond dispute. So, what created this success? Well, timing is everything. Thanks to Peter Inaldi, I managed to track down and involve the scholars and scientists all over the world who each, in their own different fields, were fascinated by the cloth and had their own research and stories to tell. An eminent Swiss criminologist had found pollens from Palestine and Turkey on the cloth. To a person experienced in the examination of injuries, this is a particularly interesting case. But perhaps the most graphic revelations came from two U.S. Air Force scientists based in Colorado Springs. Now we'll put a picture of the shroud under the camera. This is what I had sensed but not been able to put my finger on when I first saw the negative images of the shroud. The intensity of the image falls off depending on the distance it appears to be from the surface of the cloth. 